Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at Groove Agent SE5's ability to create and use slices. Now for those of you who are as long in the tooth as I am, you'll remember programs such as uh, Recycle etc which you would buy to do this separately. If I remember rightly it was about 170 quid when I bought it. Anyway this is included in Groove Agent SE5 so we're going to take a look at how you can slice up drum loops and then use that to reprogram them. Here we have uh, an empty Groove Agent SE5 and I've imported a sample uh, from Media Bay actually. So this has come from the Steinberg Drum Loop Expansion 1 which I think is included with Cubase. Um, and I've just imported this onto an audio track so then I'm just going to drag it onto a pad in the normal way. Now this would play in the normal way if we play that pad so I'll just play the sample. So we get the idea there. Now, all we need to do is to go to the Slice tab, as we can see here, and then click Create Slices. And what happens is Groove Agent assigns these to all these extra pads. So we can see we've actually got quite a few here, and they're spread across Group 4, Group 5, Group 6. And they're playable individually. So that's that first one, second one, and so on. So let's cut these up with transient detection and then made them into individual slices now those of you who used to do this kind of thing manually with uh, Akai samplers etc will appreciate this used to be quite a long-winded process but now it's all done automatically so to play this back you need to play these notes all in the right place which again could take you a while but fortunately we can just export the MIDI needed to do that by clicking and dragging from this button onto the instrument track in this case and there you can see we have this uh, stairway of MIDI notes. So you can see those there. And if I play this back, just mute the other tracks and play this back. So you can see that playing through, you can see the pads all lighting up and so on as we go. And this means if you want to do any kind of chopped up breakbeat style editing, you can then do it just by altering the, the MIDI notes here. So let's just take a quick example of that. So just in that first bar there, I'm just going to close Groove Agent so we see a bit more on screen of what we're actually interested in. So as we play through these, Now one way to do this is to just change the pitches of things although it doesn't always work out so you might want to change that for that snare and then let's move that one back down to there and see what we get. Uh, or you could just change it for something which isn't, yeah so another bass drum there and so on. So this kind of thing you can quickly change what's happening you could use randomness with the logical editor to just change the pitches of these and see what you end up with and so on so creating slices and then manipulating the midi allows you to do the kind of editing that could take you ages to do with uh, audio edits and so on and you could obviously chop all those around but it also means you've got all those samples available to you playable on a keyboard etc so you can play around with it and improvise with it and see what comes out so often it's worth uh, just recording on MIDI and then just playing around and every now and then you'll hit on something that's really good and interesting and if you've recorded it then that's great quick tip here if you haven't recorded it you can always use a uh, retrospective record so if you play something let's say you're just playing uh, a song and you're playing something on a MIDI keyboard and you didn't record it go to transport and then retrospective MIDI record so if you click that, that will create a MIDI track with whatever you've just played on it, which can be a real lifesaver because sometimes, say, you're just mucking around and then you come up with something. I don't even think the transport needs to be going, so it will just create what you've uh, what you've recorded. You can shift it to get it in line with beats and this, that and the other, and then off you go. So that's a look at the slices function in Groove Agent SE5. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.